Ali Zora and Hafara are out of control. This is on their heads. I didn't expect a human to be such a good speaker. Hey, hey that works. Ali is the pride of our fleet. They can't exile her. You know what? I'll take that. Don't expect it to be a, such a good speaker. You know what? I even messed it up. I did well. Ali Zora Vast Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vast Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. For Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard of Vast Normandy. Okay, so we're going on a shuttle then. I don't know why I just assumed it was like, I knew it was on a different ship, but I didn't know if like they were just going to dock with it or what. Ah, that's a bad idea, isn't it? It's just in my head. That's what I was thinking. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of geth, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, right. I mean that they're afraid the geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. Ooh, that's not good. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those geth, Talizora. Kila Selai. Hmm. So, uh... One of you rightfully pointed out that um, you could come back and do this with the final companion that we haven't unlocked yet, and it makes things um, th like there's unique stuff that happens. And I have done that before, but I didn't want to do it in this playthrough. Not, not, not this time. Heads up. Ah. Although it's cool. So thank you for pointing that out. Um, put them where we need them. Uh, should I just get like really aggressive here? I kind of feel like I need to. Let's do it. Hello. Goodbye. And you. Goodbye. Oh, there's another one of you. Oh, let's try this again. Bonk. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, he just ran away. Do you see that? He was like, oh god. There's a shepherd. It's coming right at us. <laughs> this, this human's got balls. He's running straight at us. Ba -ba -ba. Goodbye. <laughs> Bam. That's fun. That's that's fun right there. Uh, put them where we need. Uh, oh, and die to the uh, incineration, but it's, just, <laughs> it's fun. I don't care who you are. That's fun. <laughs> the shotgun's good. It's really good. Ooh, 1,500 credits. Ooh, baby. I'm going to need that, as we know. There's another 1,800. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Is this a med gel over there? If it is, yes it is. Good. Because then we could just replace that one that we just used. Which I didn't need to use it. I just did. I, I didn't want to accidentally die. Speaking of my quick save now that we've done that. <clears throat> don't want to have to redo a bunch of extra conversation possibly. That would be bad. Alright. Hack this. What do we have? Little purple. And then we got our cell. Oh, I just missed it. There's one there though, and we got a little blue in the middle. Just uh, no, that one. Stupid thing. I thought it was gonna go down, but it wasn't. It wasn't on the screen enough to let me go down. Oof, four thousand two hundred. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Okay. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. Um. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order. Something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification. Clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. Haystrom was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians <laughs> have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. 
Interesting. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. Well, we're gonna we're gonna learn which of those alternatives it is, I'm sure. Let's play this log. Who's running the system diagnostic? I didn't authorize Oh, Kila. How many get their networked? All of them. Rail Zora. Shut it down. Shut everything down. They're in the system. Oh, that's bad. This is like a uh, system shock. <laughs> that's really bad. Ooh, a hack a monitor. What is this going to give us? I swear, if we get like 1,800 credits for hacking a monitor, I don't, <laughs> I don't know the logic in that, but it would be funny, right? It would be funny. Why am I not seeing a just a tiny blue line? Oh, there it is. Is it? Oh, hey, guess shield strength. Uh, okay. Cool. Shield strength. Gotta love shield strength. It's always good. Oh, wait, no, we just listened to that. Who's running the system down? We don't need to do it. Stop playing it. Ah. Is there any loot? Ooh, Enemy. it's a laptop. Oh, we got some nerds. Hi, boys. Oh, no, I. Oh, ah. Get wrecked. There we go. The hunters are pretty nice to take care of. They do have the. the um, uh, like the stealth effect they do, but eh, it's not that bad. Money. Money. I wonder if Cerberus actually pays me for these. Because I know they do for like all the other ones, but we're going to find out. Why do I feel like I I feel like I am not seeing any matches right now. Like my brain is just like off. Uh, this one. The, oh wow! I don't think I've ever had this happen where it's just my brain just doesn't want to work. To be fair, to be fair, I spent an entire day um, at <laughs> at Aquatica in Orlando once again, which is a water park, uh, with one of the kids. So I'm really tired. <laughs> Lots of stairs, you know, getting up giant water slides. There. Lots of stairs. <clears throat> Tell you what. Can't get a lock. Oh Shut my goodness. Down. Why won't you use my stupid abilities? Get out of here. Ah. It's really oh, annoying when they right. do that. That's, I am looking forward to hitting up Mass Effect 3 because it does, it does make that a lot better to deal with. Got you. Oh. Hey, hit. you. <laughs> the ragdoll is so funny. I love the ragdoll. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, we got another one behind us. How could you not love this? I mean, really. This is so much fun. It's just like, hey, why are you up there? It's like, I don't, I don't know. I, I have. I have rarely oh. felt so perfectly balanced in my um, unstoppableness. And what I mean by that is like, I am kind of living on a knife edge, honestly. Like I'm barely keeping myself alive. And, I, and the way I'm doing it is I'm just using charge over and over again anytime it's off cooldown, which is giving me more shields back. So I'm just restoring my shields over and over. Um, but the fact that I'm doing it while essentially just sitting there taking a bunch of damage and balancing it out in a way that I'm never getting too close to death. In most cases, obviously, there's I've been dying, but in most cases, I'm never getting too close to death. So it always feels like I can die at any possible moment, which just makes it even more fun. I love it. It's, it's so good. This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. 
Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Do you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Hmm. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. Yeah. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the home world. Was this going to bring us back home? Um. You'll reclaim your home world someday, Tally. If your father can't help you, I will. Taking back our planet would only be the beginning. We'd have to cannibalize our fleet to rebuild cities and infrastructure. It would take generations of gene therapy to readapt our immune system so we could live without suits again. We'd be adapting our entire culture. Again. Sometimes I wonder if it's actually worth it. If you don't take back your home, the Geth win. I won't let that happen. Not today. Not ever. At the very least, we can take back one ship. <sighs> Come on. Okay. Yeah, I think, um... It's it's weird because the Mass Effect one, we were an unstoppable god. <laughs> we just were. Let's be honest. It was it was um, relatively easy for us the entire game. I, I can't think of a you know any one particular moment that gave me trouble. Mass Effect two, a little different. I'm I'm feeling the, the burn a bit, but in a good way. Like like I said, I'm. I'm feeling like I'm being challenged, and if I play correctly, I can stay alive. If I play incorrectly, I'm going to die. And it's that kind of fun balance of, like, making sure that we're, you know, constantly staying on our toes. That is, it's engaging. It's engaging combat. And... That's that's really good. That's good to have in a game. It's it's hard to have that that knife edge where it's not too difficult, but it keeps you feeling like you're really strong. At the same time, it's also making it. Oh goodness, it's stuck on me. It's also making it feel like you could die at any time. That's hard to do. Um, Doom, 2016, and Eternal do that very well. Can't get a lock. But. Not very many games. I, I think oftentimes games nowadays, just because of recent games that have come out lately, like to go a little too far onto the we're difficult side of things. Am I going to be able to kill this guy? Is he just like slightly out of range? Um, let's swap. To, why is it not popping up? There we go. Let's swap to this. I can definitely get him from here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There he is. There we go. That's nice. Okay. Uh, back to the shotgun. No, oh, that's pistol. That's the shotgun. Yeah, games games swing a little too far onto the the heavier side of difficulty, just for the sake of giving you that difficulty spike where uh, overcoming a challenge and finally doing it feels extremely rewarding. But it's a struggle to get to that point. You know, I'm looking at games like Soulsborne games, right? Our hacking attempts failed. The Geth have an adaptive consciousness. Hack one process and the others autocorrect. Still, we're making progress. Rail Zora is convinced we'll have a viable system in less than a year. This weapon will put our people back on the homeworld. And it's all because of Rail Zora. Interesting. So, actually, I'm going to look real quick at our options. What is our... Do, do, do. What is our, our difficulty set to? Okay, we're set to veteran. So the other is hardcore and then insanity. So the, if you go backwards, we have normal and then casual. So we're, we're set to like, you know, we're, we're set to like, I don't know. If, if normal is how they expect you to play, you know, veteran is a 
the harder version of that. Father! No, 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 no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me to clean up your mess. You can't. Every Geth on this ship will die, Tally. It won't bring him back. But it's what he would have wanted. I don't care what he would have wanted, Shepard. Mm. I wanted a father who cared about me more than his war effort. I wanted a father who would take the sick leave time and let me see his face without a helmet in the way. Instead, I got orders. And this, and a panel of admirals who think I'm a traitor. Those were my father's gifts to me. You also got his mind, and the best military training in the Quarian fleet. You're right. I know what he'd do. Better than anyone. Maybe. He had to know I'd come. Maybe he left a message. Tally, if you are listening, then I am dead. The guests have gone active. I don't have much time. Their main hub will be on the bridge. You'll need to destroy it to stop their VI processes from forming new neural links. Make sure Hangel and Darozen see the data. They must. Thanks, Dad. Hmm. You don't know how he would have ended that message. Yes. I do. Come on. Let's finish this. Okay. I guess we're taking them out. That's fine. Anyways, as, as I was saying, I think, um... I, th I think where we're at difficulty wise is like perfect for for me right now. I don't feel any burnout um, despite us playing through all three Mass Effect games. Like right now, it's just pure joy <laughs> playing a Vanguard. It's so much fun um, just charging in and shotgunning things to death. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to bypass in here. Um, it sucks that you just kind of find her father. But I think that I think that doing it any other way might have been uh, written in a way that you kind of feel written into a corner. Like if if you could save her father, then you, I think most players would always do that. And then at, at that point, what's the point of doing that? Just just have it the way that you want it written. Ooh, there's a flotilla ship. Heck yeah! Wait, can I access this? Give me. Oh yeah, three thousand credits. Heck yeah! All right, let's let's do our thing. I know that there are. Oh my goodness, what just happened there? Hello. Okay. Oh, everybody's everybody's being attacked from behind. We're gonna get in there, and I need to get them up. The the prime actually is gonna be really easiest easy for us to take them. We just gotta clear out some of these guys real quick. So that way our team stops going down. Speaking of, Tally's down again. My shield down. So, I guess are her, uh, her her Achilles heel. Like, oh no, another guess. How did they know? My one weakness. All right, bam, easy peasy. Maybe a little too easy, but uh, bosses tend to be that way for us in this game. I don't know. Oh, I don't want to get evidence yet. I want to look around. Because I think I got everything over here, but I'm not sure. That's the door. Nothing there. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's get this. This console is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened. What Father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on system. 
epidemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We are too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Well, a little too late for that. Tally, out of this. Assemble new guests with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. Your father was deliberately networking the Geth to Sapiens to do weapons tests. That breaks our most sacred laws. Laws that predate our flight from the homeworld. Everything here is his fault. I, I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the admirals, not anyone. Oh, um... Rail Zora doesn't need you to worry about him anymore. You heard him say he didn't want you to be caught in the politics. You don't understand, Shepard. They would strike his name from the manifest of every ship he ever served on. He would be worse than an exile. He'd be a traitor to our people, held up for children as a monster in a cautionary tale. I can't let all the good he did be destroyed for this, Shepard. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the admirals say once we get back. Yeah. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. Yeah, I think I I think making the decision there is going to be the best option. But I'll try my best. If I have to use it, though, I may. I have uh, need to face bigger things facts. to worry about. There has been no word. There is no reason to think hey, Tali we're back. Zora survived. Hello. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. It's only been a few hours. The Quarian Marines lasted less than five minutes. Oh, what? Why? Oh, I see. Never mind. We're hearing it from a different perspective. I see. Okay. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. <laughs> the attitude. You didn't waste much time declaring us dead. Go get your ship. We apologize, Shepard. Your success in taking back the Alarai is very unexpected. But also very welcome. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Oof. Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? You're wasting our time. Tally's achievements are the only evidence you should need. Come on, Tally. We're leaving. What? This is a formal proceeding! Wrong, Admiral. This is a sham. You're trying to build sympathy for the Geth to forestall the war effort. <laughs> That is completely... And you want all the messy experiments covered up so you can throw Dang. your fleet at the get. Dang. I... Do whatever you want with your toy ships, but leave my crew out of your political bullshit. <laughs> we have no new evidence. You can accept Tally's word, or you can exile the woman who saved the Citadel from the Geth. <laughs> you can't... You can't Are say no to that. Are prepared to render the judgment? That was awesome. Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. Ooh, I could say don't go to war. Good luck in the war. <sighs> I don't I am not gonna get involved in their war at the moment. This is not something that Shepard is at least for me, this is not something that my Shepard is interested in. Sure, take the Reapers and stuff out of it, then she would be like, Okay, well, 
you, you know, she would have a, she would strike an opinion on the political stuff going on here. But right now, you know, the fate of the galaxy kind of rests on her shoulders. Does she care about their war? Not really. It's kind of petty in comparison. So. With all due respect, Admiral, I didn't represent one of your people. I represented one of mine. Yeah. So you did, Shepard. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zoravas Normandy. Kill us alive. I love that. As I said before. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. <laughs> I just reamed him. It's been a while since anyone shouted down the Admiralty Board. I think it was good for them. I think it was Thank too. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. <laughs> Tali, about what your father said, what he did, you deserved better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Oh, that was really nice. Oh. Come on, Tali Zora, boss Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This looks interesting. What did I get? Press and hold F to end the mission. Okay, we can do that. Uh, 32 Renegade. Oh my goodness gracious. What? I don't, I've never gotten that much before. Oh boy, we're almost at the last little tick here. Oh, oh that was a lot of Renegade. Oh, I think I'm okay. I got, I got two bear guns. Tech damage? Heck yeah. All right, uh, press and press hold F. Yeah, go ahead and leave. My goodness. Okay, uh, experience gained, only 750. Um, she got Drain, which is nice. So what does it do? It drains enemies' kinetic barrier to boost your shields. Okay. She got a new outfit. We'll check that out. Uh, guest shield strength. So 25% shield strength upgrades squad members with guest shield technology. Perfect. Tech damage. Yeah. Squad bonus, 40% tech power damage. And we got, uh, 45,000 credits. That's pretty good. Yeah, that, that went well. I can appreciate that. And as I was saying, I've I've never done that as a renegade. And I've never done that renegade option. And you know what? I think that renegade option might be one of my favorite that Commander, we've had. received a new message at your private terminal. That felt good. It felt good to just put them in their place and be like, you guys are all children. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, it could happen to you. All right. What is this? Uh, mail routing, yeah. A Drell lay in the ocean, dying from Kepril syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the Enkindlers came to him and charted the course of his life. The Drell saw the wakes and eddies, and saw that sometimes the Enkindlers swarm alongside him. Uh, swam alongside him, limbs raking the water, while other times he was alone. The Drell saw that the times he was alone were the hardest times in his life. He asked the Enkindlers, "Why was this one abandoned?" The Enkindlers answered, their light is shining brightly. You were uh, never abandoned in those difficult times in your life. It was our bodies that bore you through the water. The Drell awoke and found his Capital Syndrome cured. If you follow the light of the Enkindlers, it can happen to you. Where the Enkindlers go, we shall follow. And where their light is, is the sun, we shall be the stars around them. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance and your greatest wish shall come true. <laughs> Uh, concerns R.E. The Keepers from Shorbin. Hope this address still works. I promise to send you intel on The Keepers if I found anything. And this is important. See those scans you took? Oh, this is from Mass Effect 1. Turns out the Keepers are bioengineered and based on comparisons to some of the material from Saren's flagship. Uh, or based on my comparison, some of the material found from Saren's flagship Sovereign. They were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't really made by Protheans. It may have been made by something far older. With the Keepers as organic guardians, that's more... Uh, and what's more, based on my genetic readings, you're supposed to react to something, or they're supposed to react to something, some signal or something. Uh, about every 50,000 years, you can measure genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see the drought years. Whoever did this... Well, 
around the last time the signal went off would be around the time Protheans disappeared, and it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. If any of the old tech still works, they could have had some nasty surprises waiting us for us. Excuse me. Oh, I got the hiccups. And thought you'd want to know. No, uh, nobody here on the Citadel will listen to me. We already knew that. We learned that information before um, in Mass Effect 1. But you know what? I like that they just kind of give you more information on it. From Detective Anaya. Greetings, Commander. I'm not completely sure that this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse mercs have gotten real quiet around here. And my superiors have backed off, too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet a Justicar, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Thanks. Oh, I felt good. That was good. That was a good mission, you know? That was, um... We made some good progress there, I think. Uh, let's go see if I can purchase these upgrades, maybe? Weapon upgrades. Knit. Armor upgrades. Tech damage. Boom. Yeah, give me that. Bam. Uh, that's that's okay. Uh, Geth shield strength. Yeah, research. So 25% shield strength. Ooh, that's so good. I love that. Um, and that's one of two. So there's another one that we can end up getting. And there's no other current upgrades. All right, fine. Right. Now what? Well, I'm going to head up to the captain's uh, quarters. I'm going to feed Samara my fish. Wants a moment with you, Commander. I'm going to go talk to Samara. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I got a lot to do on my ship. I was just, it's, it's my, my home away from home. Or, oh wait, I had dead fish in there, but I just fed them. I just fed them on the, when I came. Why were there dead fish? Ah, I can't seem to keep anything alive. I don't know if that's like intentional or not. Ooh, let's look at our ships. Oh, that's cool. Wait, did we, oh, we got the whole collection. We got them all. Uh, our space hamster, still in there. Yeah, we have. All of the ships. Oh, that feels really cool. I don't... I don't remember ever finishing a ship collection in Mass Effect 2. Or maybe it was Mass Effect 3. I don't remember. But you know what? I'm happy with that. Uh, what's this? I just noticed there's a helmet down here. Oh, that's the uh, the original helmet. Gotcha. All right. No, no, no. We got we to gotta go talk to Samara. See what she needs. Where is she? Crew quarters. I always think that she is off to the right, but I think that's, um, what's her butt? Yeah, she's over to the left. I am glad you came. <laughs> Had her high beams on again. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega, a nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. Oh my goodness. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morinth suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Oh, okay. She's, she's like a succubus. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. 
She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. Hmm. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Hmm. Okay. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. I can just say cry me a river. That's mean. Sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter, and kill her. We'll go find Morinth. That's heavy. All right, that's fine. So here's here's something I'm gonna do because I don't do this often, but you know that's just because of the way that I typically record. But because I know that no we're gonna be having a break here. Um, for just, it's a small break, not like, not like a death loop break again, but, oops, I hit the wrong button. But what I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go scan these other couple planets here, um, and get that out of the way because it's our only one that is not complete. And I want to know what loyalty mission I should do next. Should I do Thane Garrus? Actually, you know what? Here's a better way to look at it. <laughs> Let's go to our journal. Uh, should I do Samara? Thane, Garrus, Grunt, Morden, Jack, or Jacob. Now, here's the thing. If I do Thane, I'm going to do Thane and Garrus. If I do Morden, I'm going to do Morden and Grunt, right? If I do Jack, it's just going to be hers. If I, or maybe Jack and then Jacob's. And, and if I do Samara, it'll probably be a combination of like Samara and Jacob or Samara and Jack. Um, let me know which one you guys want to see in the comments. Now, obviously, if you're watching this way in the future, I would have already gone and started that but thanks for your actually if you're <laughs> if you're watching this and you know that the next episode is already up why don't you guess what people voted yeah? Yeah. just go down there don't read everybody else's comments just go i think that is gonna be that you're gonna forget and you're gonna go to shadow broker stuff it might be that who knows